Good morning. My name is Beth. Welcome to Hitch a Chick Urban Homestead. Today I have with me a special little helper, and this is my granddaughter helping me today. And I'm sorry, I promised her mom no personal info, so you're just going to have to accept my word that she's amazing, she's beautiful, and she's the best baker assistant you could ask for. So today on the menu, we are going to be making beer batter bread. And it's a very straightforward recipe, very easy. And uh, there's only one, two, three, four, basically six ingredients. Mix them all together, put it in your pan. In this case, we're doing it in the Dutch oven. Throw it in the oven for an hour. It comes out easy peasy and um, perfect every time. So without further ado, Hey kids, shall we get started? Yeah. Okay, first we add all the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl. And the recipe calls for three cups of flour, but I'm doubling it so it'll fit in my Dutch oven. And uh, so instead of three cups of flour, we're adding six cups of flour. Okay, next it calls for one teaspoon of salt. We're doubling, so two teaspoons of salt. And it calls for a quarter a cup of just plain ordinary white sugar. Again, doubling, so here goes a half a cup. And then the baking powder, it calls for three teaspoons. I'm putting in six. Okay, now let me grab a fork. Assistant, please stir the flour together. Okay, let's hold it up here for a second. And I'll keep stirring. And she's just basically whisking it all together, get everything incorporated. Now we're gonna go over to the mixer. We'll add two cans of regular beer. Um, you can use light beer. You can use a darker beer. Hard cider, like a apple ale, anything like that. If you want it to have a little bit sweeter taste, then you can go ahead and add fruit if you would like. Chocolate chips, raisins, anything like that that you would be interested in adding. So if my assistant would care to step over to the mixer, I'll have her add the two cups of or the two cans of beer. <laughs> I might add, open the beer slowly. <laughs> In the meantime, I forgot to mention, I did preheat the oven 375 and this bread will be baking for an hour. No problem. As we say in our household, no problems, only solutions. There you go. So uh, once it, the batter is mixed really, really well, we'll um, it will be a little runny, sort of the consistency of um, wallpaper paste. If you've ever used wallpaper paste, it's runny, but it's gooey and thick all at the same time. And uh, is it locked down? Always make sure your mixer is locked down if you're using a stand mixer. Made that mistake once. And start it out on low. Once it starts getting incorporated, then you can speed it up and beat it until it becomes a just really smooth incorporated batter. Okay, now we're going to speed it up just a little bit so it incorporates just a little bit more air. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so assistant, go ahead and take it off. Make sure you unlock it. Get the beater off. <laughs> and like 
I stated in another one of my videos, I am not a neat baker. It just isn't going to happen. So we're going to take a second and wash our hands. So here's our Dutch oven. It has been coated with a good healthy dose of shortening. It's been seasoned really well, but I always like to um, give it a coat of shortening, lard, bacon grease, anything you have like that, just to make sure that it does come out neatly, no sticking and that kind of thing. Now we're just going to pour the batter into the Dutch oven. And as you can see, it's a loose batter. Move your hand a second. It's a little bit of a loose batter, but it's still thick. And that's exactly what you want. Okay, I'm just going to give it another, another quick little scrape. So, as you can see, it fills the, the Dutch oven quite well. Now what we're going to do is uh, we have a half stick of milk butter. And we're just going to pour it all over the top. And it will kind of puddle up a little bit. Don't panic. Don't worry about it. It will be sucked in and it'll rise and puff and give just this gorgeous design on top. This amazing crust. And uh, without further ado, let's put it in the oven. Okay, we're going to set the timer for an hour. Okay, we're back. And the timer has just gone off on the oven. We're going to take it out. We're going to try to unpan it and give you a show as to what it looks like. So, uh, granddaughter, just kind of don't move because the Dutch oven gets really hot. Looks tasty. Oh, let's show the viewers at home. Just watch yourself, don't get burnt. Is that not the best looking bread you have ever seen? Okay. I'm going to let my handy helper carefully use this offset spatula. Just have it go around the edge to loosen it up a little bit. And we'll see if we can get it dumped out. So with my oven, it ended up taking an extra five minutes. So this was actually in the oven for an hour and five minutes instead of just the one hour the recipe calls for. Ready? Ta-da! What you think, kid? I think it looks really good. Okay, we'll just leave it set for a few minutes till it finishes cooling and then we'll slice it off and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Viewers, I wish you could smell this. Okay, well, we're going to get ready to cut into it and I have to agree, I sure wish y'all could smell this, but here we go. We're, we're just going to cut right down through the middle so I can show you the texture. It has such a great crunch to the crust. That's what I was going to say. It sounds like so crunchy. Look at that texture. All of those little air bubbles. And we're gonna let my helper have just a little taste test. Let her tell me what she thinks. Okay, here you go, helper. Tell the viewers just exactly what you think of it. I think it tastes really good. And I there you have it, folks. 
Anything else you'd like to say? I'm gonna go take a bite to eat it. See ya. <laughs> well, you heard her. She's out of here. She took it. She's gonna down it. I might even be a good naughty, good grandma, and let her have her glass of milk or something with it. I want to uh, say thank you for the privilege to once again being able to bring one of my uh, videos to you. Be sure to hit the like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.